Hello everyone, it is Neon Black Gaming with a YouTube video, and today as you can see I'm doing a base review for Town Hall Level 9 Hybrid Base, and if you want to see any more base reviews, tell me in the comments down below, just ask Tunnel 7, Tunnel 8, if you want to see more Tunnel 9, tell me in the comments down below, and anyway, let's get on with this video, so first of all, I'm going to start off with the air defenses, so here are the placement of the air defenses, 1, 2, 3, and Four, so they cover pretty much the entire base. So here is the range of the air defenses. So this one is like this, this one is like this, this one is like this, and this one is like this. So as you can see, it covers all the storages and the dark elixir. So it is a great placement of the air defenses. I would not move them. They are a little bit close for lightning spells, but not many people are going to bring four lightning spells with them to take out all your air defenses. So I think you're fine with that. So now I'm going to move on to the mortars. So here are the mortars range. I'm going to change it to red. So first of all, there are the four mortars if you can't find them. Right there, great square pattern, cannot be lightning. And here are the range of the mortars. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. As you can see, they cover the entire base, plus all the storages and dark elixir. So great placement. I will not change them at all. They're very, very protected, so giants can't get to them. But they can take out the archers and barbarians on the outside of the base and protect the other mortars' dead zones. So they're very great placement of the mortars. So let me just erase that right there. <clears throat> And I'm going to move on to the Expos. So these are very unique placement because you don't see many Expos behind a double layer of walls. And I'll explain that in around five seconds. Let me get out my red. There we go. So here's the double layer of wall and here's the double layer of wall. As you can see, archers cannot shoot. If there are archers lined here and archers lined here, they can't shoot over to the Expo, which is great. But the Expos, which are here and here, they're set to air. But if you want to set them to ground, they can have a huge range. But that doesn't matter. Here are the range of the Expos from air. As That one's a little bit small. Let me fix that here. As you can see, they'll take out the archers very easily, but they cannot be taken out themselves. And they cover all the storages, which is even better. So this is great. I would, this is an amazing expo placement. This is a great base idea, too. So great job with those double walls right there. So those are the expo placement. I'm going to talk about the hero placement next. These are not my favorite, and I have a quick fix, an easy fix for you guys if you want to build this base. So the way it works is here are the heroes, here is the king, and here is the queen. An easy fix for that. Take them and put them right there where the dark elixir collectors are. Easy fix, you don't really need your Dark Elixir collectors in the middle. You can put them right here where this king is and right where the queen is. And it's still protected by the expo. I mean, sure you can. Or you can just put the Dark Elixir right there and you're done. So there are so many fixes. I would seriously recommend putting your heroes in the middle. It's a lot more helpful for the base. So there we go. I'm going to talk about the wizard towers next. So here we go. Here is one wizard tower, two, three, and four. So there's the wizard towers. And the ranges are about here covering the storages. There we go. So those are the ranges. As you can see, I would not change them at all. They're protecting the mortar and the air defense plus the a little bit of the expo and also the storage is so great placement wouldn't change it at all very simple but nice placement of the wizard towers there so now i'm going to go talk about the air sweepers so here is number one let me just quickly go erase that here uh there we go okay so air sweeper number one air sweeper number two so this one in here that i'm going to double circle is very well placed it can protect the entire top layer the one on the bottom right here it could get um attacked but as you can see, the, you have this archer tower and this cannon right here to protect. So I think those are good placements to force them away from the town hall. So very good placement <clears throat> in general for those air sweepers. So let me go erase here, erase, and erase. Okay. And now I'm going to talk about the storage placement itself. So first of all, the golden elixir. So here's the elixir right here. And then the gold, I'll turn it from pink. So here's gold right here in pink. And then I'll put dark elixir in, come on in purple so dark elixir right there so as you can see the red right here those red elixir swords are very well placed they are a little bit towards the outside but does not matter because the mortar and the expo and an arch tower cannon and wizard tower are protecting every single el elixir and gold storage and a dark elixir storage double circled in the middle right there is insanely protected and i'll explain why in one second well first of all you have every single defense pretty much this entire base plus in this pocket and this pocket right here what do you think that pocket's going to be tesla's giant bombs, any of those options will completely wipe out any troops. If you have four Teslas there at level 7, it's going to do over 200 damage per second, which is insane. So definitely recommend putting the Teslas in that pocket. That Dark Elixir is not going to get stolen unless it's a Town Hall 9 or, I mean, Town Hall 10 or 11 attacking. Great placement of that Dark Elixir. So now I'm going to talk about the Town Hall, one of the most important defenses in the entire game. Yes, if you don't know why, because if you have archers in there, it can do over 300 damage per second in every single second because, you know, you can fill that clan castle up with a ton of troops. So here's the range of the clan castle around right there. As you can see, it can be lured from the top of the screen, but it cannot be lured from the bottom. So it's in pretty good placement. You could switch it with the Dark Elixir if you wanted, but I would not recommend it. I like it where it is. Yes, it is lurable, but yes, it is in the centralized, and it is centralized enough that you cannot destroy it and take a little bit of loot. 
So I'm going to talk about the <clears throat> sorry about that. Talk about the town hall placement. So let me change it back to red so you guys can see it a little bit better. So there we go. Here is the town hall, and it's protected by a lot of defenses. So pretty much this layer right here, where I circled, is going to be protecting the town hall. So the expos, the wizard towers, some uh, cannons, some archer towers mortars and air defense and an air sweeper are going to be protecting that town hall so very good placement it's not too centered but it's not too close to the outside so it will the, um, pretty much prevent people from getting your town hall easily and stealing your loot which is very nice and i noticed if you do want to you could put the town hall i'll just draw an arrow where you could put the town hall so you could put the town hall this town hall you could put right where this dark elixir storage is but and it would take up here, but then the only problem is you would not have space to put your Teslas or Giant Bombs. So, yes, it's a trade-off. I don't know if it's worth it, but you guys can experiment with that on your own and tell me how it works out. And then, finally, I'm going to talk about the, the uh, point defenses, which are Archer Towers and Cannons. So, Archer Towers are going to be in red, and Cannons are going to be in purple. So, Archer Towers have been circled. And now here come the Cannons. One, two, three, four, four. Five. Okay, so there are the cannons. So here, as you can see, they're pretty much spaced out. Archstar cannon, Archstar cannon, Archstar cannon. Very good. Wouldn't change the placement. I like them a lot. For instance, I might change one spot though. So see this? I'm circling right here. I might move that archer tower one space to the uh, towards the bottom because then troops that are placed out here will attack the archer tower before they attack the elixir storage. Because if it's one space outwards, then they'll attack the archer tower first or more likely to attack the arch tower first i mean it's in a good spot but you could make that spot better so let me erase these lines here okay and i'm pretty sure i covered all the stuff about this base um yes the air sweepers are in good spots you can they're i mean they're okay this one down here is a little bit vulnerable but it does have an arch tower and a couple cannons protecting it and the one up here is very protected and the last thing i'm going to talk about is the pockets of this base, which are the giant bomb spaces or trap spaces. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those are the different pockets that you could have giant bombs or Teslas. So this one here, this one, this one, and this one that I put dots in, it cannot have a double giant bomb in them. But this one here, I think, and this this pocket here, I think can have a double giant bomb if I'm correct. Um, so then you could have like anti hog right there. And then here you can have Tesla where I'm erasing Tesla, Tesla, or giant bomb or Tesla. And then in this pocket, you could have double giant bomb and Teslas right there. So overall, I'd give this base a 9.5 or 9 out of 10. It's great. It's symmetrical. Um, it looks good. First of all, you know, look, looks are a little bit important and, and it defends well, it looks like. So I might do base build. If you guys want me to do base build, tell me in the comments down below. If you like this length of video, seven, eight minutes long, tell me also tell me in the comments down below. And I really do hope you enjoyed this type of video. It is a little bit, well, it has a lot of talking in it, but it is very, ex it explains a lot about the game itself and the game mechanics and how and where you should put your structures. Because even though if you're not tunnel level nine, you can still use these tips to put your own defenses in the right spot. So that's about it. I hope you drew any tips or any thoughts away. If you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you.